And now for something completely different. Welcome to another episode of Readiness in Five or Less. Today's topic is Python environments. Python. Why did it have to be Python? Python is an open source programming language which Esri, along with many other software platforms and developers, uses to create processing tools. When Python is installed on a machine, a Python environment is created. This environment is just a folder that contains the Python .exe file, the code files that allow the Python .exe file to run, and additional packages of tools that can be used in Python scripts. These packages are also referred to as site packages, modules, or libraries. ArcPy, NumPy, URLlib, and requests are all examples of Python packages. Python environments are automatically created as part of the install process for ArcGIS Desktop, ArcGIS Pro, and ArcGIS Server. This is necessary for the geoprocessing tools in those programs to work and also allows users to create their own geoprocessing scripts. ArcGIS Desktop includes the 32-bit version of Python 2.7, while ArcGIS Pro includes the 64-bit version of Python 3.6, anyone who has installed ArcGIS Desktop and Pro will have, at a minimum, two Python environments, a Python 2.7 environment on the C drive and a Python 3.6 environment within the Pro installation files. If they also have ArcGIS Server installed, they will have a third environment that has a 64-bit version of Python 2.7, also on the C drive. If the user never works with Python scripts, or only uses the Python windows in ArcMap or Pro, having these different versions of Python doesn't cause any issues, as ArcMap, Pro, and Server all know where to look for the correct versions of Python. However, Python-savvy users may be using multiple environments, as this allows you to install different packages in different environments and manage those packages separately as installing all packages in one environment can result in conflicts between the packages and also between package versions. Additionally, such users tend to prefer using either the command prompt or an IDE such as PyCharm to run scripts. Both IDEs and the command prompt can be directed to use any of the Python environments that are available on the computer. You're going to need a bigger computer. In order to get around this, every time you run a script in either the command prompt or an IDE, you would need to specify which environment you're working in. However, if you're constantly running scripts, that workflow can be very repetitive. Alternatively, you can use the path system variable. The Python path is a list of locations that the computer will search through for exe files if the location of a required exe file is not otherwise specified. If the Python modules or libraries you are using in your scripts are located outside of the Python environment folder, you will also need to create a new variable called Python path to contain a list of all module locations. However, constantly editing system variables that affect all programs is no basis for a system of environment management. As an alternative, you can use the environment management package conda to switch from one environment to another. Unlike the path variable, Conda allows you to switch environments for only the application you are working in and does not affect other programs. It also manages all of the packages in each environment, making it easier to update them without breaking interdependencies. Conda comes as part of Anaconda. But what exactly is Anaconda? While pythons are the longest snakes in the world, anacondas are some of the heaviest. They can weigh up to 500 pounds. Uh, that's the wrong anaconda. Still, coming in at 2 gigabytes, the software package Anaconda is also pretty sizable. It includes Conda, a Python install, base modules, the Jupyter Notebook, and 150 other site packages, as well as a user interface for switching environments and updating site packages. There is also a lightweight version of Anaconda called Miniconda. Miniconda comes as part of Pro and does not require an additional install. So everyone who has Pro can immediately start using Conda to manage their environments. Having both Anaconda and Pro installed on the same machine is not recommended because having two versions of Conda can result in unexpected behavior. And that's it for this episode of Readiness in Five or Less. Whee! 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 Whee!